Hi there, Dave Rawlings here of the London Longsword Academy and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Michael Chittister of Wigtonour and Hema Bookshop. Now Michael has been an absolute boon to the Hema community for a good number of years, primarily through his work with Wigtonour, his website, which he's used to reach out to various museums, libraries and private collections and convince them that it's in their best interest to share with us their historical European martial arts treaties that they have in their collections. And he's done this by being incredibly respectful. He's been extremely clear that we must use their copyright respectfully. And that's all laid out in which now you can see the treaties, you can tell exactly what rights you have to reproduce or to use that material. And it's fantastic. With the goodwill that he's used to make that website, he's also garnered the trust for people to share with him their transcriptions of that work. And quite often, you don't want to go there when it comes to looking at handwriting and these things. It's terrible. I've read Cavendish, I've transcribed Cavendish. It's horrible. So people offer their transcriptions and you can use that either to clarify your own transcription or to just look at it and go, that's what it said in the original language. And on top of that, people willing to offer their own translation. And Michael has laid this out with such clarity on Wicked Hour. It's so anal in its perfect detail that it should have its own category on Pornhub. It's amazing. So, Wicked Hour, Michael, thank you so much. Incredible, incredible work, and we're all incredibly grateful to you for it. Now, the first thing I got from Michael as a assistance piece was the Illustrated Maya. And this is really an offering to give you high resolution scans alongside works like Jeff Walking's translation of Joachim Meyer so that you can see the translated work, which is incredibly high quality, but you have images that now match that translation work. And that really was a jumper point. It's an incredibly good thing. I should use it more than I do. It's a very, very useful piece of kit. And then Michael took the jump into Hema Bookshelf. And this is where we have something quite different. With Hema Bookshelf, Michael started producing manuscript qualities, treaties qualities, reproductions of the museum pieces. And his attention to detail in getting the covers right is, is, is absolutely superb. So this, you can read the handwriting in it. It's good enough for you to make a transcription from and enough for you to make a translation from. And the images are incredibly clear. The line work, you never really appreciate until you get a reproduction like this how good the line work is. So it's absolutely stunning. Now, as I mentioned previously, we have things like, again, Jeff Hawking's translation, which is stunning, but these piggly, piggly little images which make Le Cookner very difficult to work from. And the most recent offering from Hema Bookshelf has been this. And when I got it out of the box, I literally went, oh my fucking God, because it is awesome. Whoa. gold because the original has gold. So Michael has attention to detail issues, which is superb. And then look, if you're working from the Kuchner and you have this difference in imagery, first of all, you start appreciating the art style. But secondly, and most importantly, you can see every detail that you need to, every little nuance you need to. And Personally, I didn't really appreciate how much you needed to see an original until I saw an original of Tebow. But this is not by uh, Hema Bookshelf, by the way. But it was at that point I realised that you need to be able to see that this person's arm is straight, but the wrist is bent. And you can't see that in the reproduction that you're working from. So these things to the community are insanely valuable. So if you're not aware of Hema Bookshelf, go and look at them. Go and all the stuff. He does about two or three... Um, crowdfunders each year and every single one of them I recommend that you jump on top of. They are incredibly, incredibly good. He's now producing, I believe, some um, translation and original uh, quality manuscripts as well. So you'll get an incredible amount of things for your money. He's not the only person who is offering this high quality of illustration. Obviously, as I pointed out before, Rob Ranicas with the Book of Lessons, very good quality images. Dirk Hagendorn, also very good images in his books as well. But Michael has taken it to an entirely different level with these just focusing on original quality. So really, 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 that's all I can say for this. I don't think there's too much more to go on about. Look for Hema Bookshelf, look on Wicked Now. These things are beautiful and they deserve funding. 
I'm going to run off because it's taken me so many takes to go and do this. I'm going mad and I've got to run out and do my lesson. But really, HEMA Bookshelf, check it out. If this is your first time getting into HEMA and you have any questions before you go and start school or you want to do research for any project, look at Wichtenauer.